What up everybody? Got up at 2.30 and I am heading down to Illinois right now for a long overdue trip with a guy I know by the name of Ryan. What's up Ryan? I actually sold a reel to Ryan like three years ago, give or take. And it's a funny story because we were texting back and forth. I was sounded online and while we were texting, he was actually up north in northern Wisconsin fishing. And I told him, I said, yeah, my uncle's got a cabin up north. And he's like, where's it at? And I tell him where, I tell him what lake it's on. He's like, dude, I'm on that lake right now. And I'm like, no way. Long story short, while we were texting, while he was buying this reel from me, we had never met before, it turned out he was actually staying in my uncle's cabin. So that was how our relationship started, by chance. It's kind of funny, ironic that he was actually staying in my uncle's cabin while he was buying a reel from me online. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. The odds of that happening are slim to none. So we started talking here and there, uh, just via text really mostly. And we've been doing that for about three years now. And he has invited me down to Illinois before. It just hasn't worked out for scheduling reasons. But I've been really wanting to get down to his area. He's been just pounding the muskies actually the last two days he's caught 11 muskies or he i should say he, he's boated 11 muskies in the last two days so he's averaging five plus a day which is really good anywhere his buddy boated a 47 incher yesterday which 47 inches even by me in southern wisconsin that's a giant that's a big fish but in illinois that's really big that's that's a pretty special fish so he's been moving them like crazy he's been catching them like crazy so he's like, you gotta get down here, man. Got up at 2.30 a.m. and I have to work today. I only got about four hours of sleep. I'm gonna go fish with him for a couple hours this morning, then I gotta drive the three hour trip back up north and I gotta go into work today. So, should be interesting, gonna be a long day, but I'm really excited. Looking forward to finally meeting Ryan in person. We've been talking via text for three years. We've never met in person. And I'm really excited to fish with him. I'm thankful he gave me the invite. Can't wait to get down there and fish new water. So hopefully we'll have some footage for you guys here shortly with a bunch of muskies and hopefully at least one or two is gonna hit the bag. So stay tuned, you guys. My left side's my best side. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is Ryan. What up, man? Nice to finally meet you in person. You too, pal. Yeah. This is going to be my guide today. He's been pounding him here in Illinois. So, first I time. No promises. Well, it's my first time going for muskies here in Illinois, so I'm pumped, man. There you go. So, we'll see what we can get done. Uh, TP. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be prepared. I don't want to be, oh, be caught without it. That had to be a bass. Yeah, it sounded like it. it sounded like a bass. <laughs> Sick though. You know what happened? What? You hit weeds? No. You, bu you busted out. I see him. What's oh, a good one? I see him. What's oh, a good one? I'm going. It's a good one. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. He left. That was a good one, dude. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Keep it going. Keep it going, dude. He's still there. He's gonna eat. Dude, he's gonna eat. Keep it going. He keeps coming back. It's a good one. He's 40-ish. <clears throat> he 
That was funny. It was like she'd get revved up and then she'd freeze, like, uh, and then she'd get revved up and then couldn't make up her mind. Or his mind is probably a male. <laughs> I was just gonna say when I'm goofing off with your sunglasses, you're gonna get one. Good job, bro. Let me know when you're ready. I was just gonna say, right before you said got it, I was gonna say when I'm goofing off with your glasses, you're gonna get one. Okay. The blade is done for in here. Go on to the, Gil the Gilbert. Musky. You see him? He's right there. He's right here. Still there? First cast. Oh, second. Dude, that is funny. He's just sitting. Dude, that is funny. Where'd he go? He's still down there? force feed them. One thing's for sure, they're going to have a feeding window today. around to you right now. Nope, nope, nope. Got it. Dude, him so you lifted it up so easily. The Gilbert comes through again. <laughs> Gilbert comes through again. <laughs> Dude, you guys, Ryan just put this bait on. It's been a struggle. <laughs> he just said he's gonna put this bait on. What was that, your 10th cast, maybe? Yeah, probably. And it came through. Props to my girlfriend on that one. <laughs> you know what, though? We've seen, what, three fish now? Yeah. In like the last t five minutes, so maybe something's happening here, but dude. It's her favorite bait. Ryan's been grinding here, and he finally got it done, dude. Nice. Dude, chunky little guy. Yeah. It's not, that's why I like it. Keep her going. Oh, gosh. Was that the one, dude? Oh. She came back, dude. Yeah. She, I thought she was coming when he sped it up. I mean, I thought she was going to eat it out there.
Yes. It's a good fish. Nope, other side. Bro. Yes. We're coming up there. It's a nice fish, dude. It's a good fish, bro. This side, other side? Nope, other side. Okay, okay, okay. Good job, bro. She might, she might be 38, 39. She might, she might be 38, 39. Dude, that was sick. She came back for it. Good job, dude. You guys, this is a little buzzer beater. I was about to leave in about two minutes. And Ryan came through with another one. A nice one, too.